Hello friends. So today I am trying something a little bit different and I have been looking at these beeswax wraps on different websites, mostly Etsy for a while and they're very expensive to purchase. So I looked up some recipes on Pinterest and decided that it was more cost effective for me to make them myself. Um, this is not like a craft that you can make in five minutes. It takes quite a while. I have been melting this down. Um, I decided to do a jar that way whatever's left I can put it away and use it the next time I want to make this um, I would not do this in something that you want to reuse for food or anything like that afterwards so this jar was just one I didn't care about they are perfect to use for um, like wrapping dishes and putting them in the fridge or even a loaf of bread packing your lunch you can wrap sandwiches in them stuff like that to clean them just use cool water and some mild dish soap and scrub them with like a brush or um, sponge, whatever, and then just let them dry. If they do start losing like their stickiness, you can put them between two pieces of parchment paper with a low temp iron and just iron over it and that should bring it back to life again. Or you can actually re-coat them with your beeswax mixture. So it's super easy. It's just jojoba oil, um, beeswax, pellets and I use the white ones. You can use yellow if you want to, but it will discolor your fabric. Um, it will make it more yellow. And then pine rosin. Um, and these were all available on Etsy and I will have them in my Amazon link so you guys can find them easier. So I'm going to turn you around here and show you. All I did was, let me see if I can set this up here. put my fabric onto a stone pan and I have this lined with parchment paper. I put this pan in the oven and let it heat until I was ready to go. That way um, my beeswax will not dry right away. And you just wanna coat this really good. So I'm gonna get this all coated and show you what it looks like in just a minute. So now that this is completely coated, I'm just going to let it air dry like this and this will dry fairly quickly. Um, it's actually almost completely dried, but the reason I had the stone pan was to keep it warm so that the wax didn't dry while I was coating it. And then once it is dry, you can look, if you have any areas that are not coated, you will definitely be able to tell there's a few around the edges. So I'm going to use these in place of like saran wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions.